by the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hi everybody and today we're going to be doing a Bible studies. My mom's going to be asking the questions from the notebook and I'm going to be answering them. And Okay. And we're going to and she's going to read the chapters. Okay. Honey, and and pause the video if you need to to think for a moment. Question number one. Who were the first human being on the earth? Adam and Eve. Genesis 1.27. Question number two. Why did Adam and Eve dismiss it from Eden? Because they ate the fruit of the tree of knowledge, good and evil. Genesis 3.23. Question number three. Who is the first person who killed his brother in the Bible? Okay. Do you remember why did he kill him? Because he was jealous of his brother. Jealous on what? That his brother gets more attention than him. Okay, it's in Genesis 4 8. Question number 4. Uh, the name of the father saved in the ark with his family when God punished the people of the world? Noah. Uh, how did he punish them? How did he punish them? By a flood. How many days? 40 days and 40 nights. Okay, it's in Genesis 7, chapter 7. Okay, question number 5. Who is the father told by God to sacrifice his son? Abraham? It's in Genesis 2. Uh, number 6. What was the name of the man told by the two angels to leave from town Sodom? Lot. And what happened to his wife? He turned into a pillar of salt. Why is that? Because the angels told them not to look back while the fire from heaven kills the people in the town Sodom and Gomorrah she was she felt bad for her city she looked back and then she turned into a pillar of salt oh. and that left only him and his two daughters oh, okay it's in Genesis chapter 19 1 to 26 okay number seven how many kids does Jacob had he had 13 kids, one girl and 12 boys. Okay, Genesis 29, 31, or Genesis 35, 22. Number eight, why does Joseph, Joseph's brother sold him? Because they were jealous that he was the favorite of his father. It's in Genesis 37, 28. Well, uh, okay, question number nine, Hannah. <coughs> question number nine. Why did Joseph went to jail when he lived in uh, Egypt? Mm? Why did Joseph went to jail when he was lived in Egypt? He got sold to a rich man who works for Pharaoh. And then, well, the rich man was off to, uh, off to work. His wife told Joseph to sleep with him, and Joseph said no. So she took the part of her cloak, uh, of his cloak, and lied about him. And once her husband heard her, he put him in jail. Oh, okay, very good. It's in Genesis 39, 11 up to 20. Okay. Uh, Question number 10, how did Joseph meet his brothers again? He got, he told the dreams of the Pharaoh and helped the famine. And then the famine was going all across from Egypt to Canaan. And then his, his father sent his, his 11 brothers to Egypt to get a sack of grain and while he while they went there 
he accused them to be strangers in Egypt and spies. Okay, then he, he made them, right? Mm-hmm. Did he recognize them or they recognize him? He, he recognized them, but they didn't. Okay, it's in Genesis 40, 42, 1, from 1. Okay, number 11. The name of the baby that found in the river. Moses. Uh, who found him? Pharaoh's daughter. Okay, it's in Exodus 2, from 1 to 6. Okay, question number 12. Who led the Israelites out of Egypt? Moses. It's in Exodus 14, 1. Who led them after uh, Moses? Joshua. It's in Deuteronomy 3, 28. Number 14. What was the Israelites food while they were in the desert? Manna. It's in Exodus, Exodus 16, number 31. Okay, question number 15. And how did they get water to drink? Moses hit his staff on a big rock and then it cracked open and water came falling out of it. Okay, it's in Exodus 17, 6. Okay. Question number uh, 16. How many commandments are there? Ten. And explain them. Number one, you... <coughs> There should be no other gods before me. Number two, do not make any graven images. Number three, do not take the name of the Lord. Do not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Number four, Sabbath the holy day. Number five, honor your father and mother. Number six, do not kill. Number seven, do not commit adultery. Number eight, do not steal. Number nine, do not lie. Number ten, do not cosette. Very good. Good job, honey. It's in Exodus 20 from 3 to 17. Okay, next question number 17. Why did Moses throw the table of testimony and break them? Because while he was up top, when, while God was giving him the Ten Commandments, everybody, um, thought that Moses and God left them <coughs> so they uh, say they <coughs> told Aaron his brother to make a calf for them and Aaron built a calf for them a big golden calf just so they can worship it and God told them to go down and f and break the Ten Commandments and build a new one he throwed it on among the floor and the floor cracked open and all the people um, sank down deep under the ground okay it's in exodus 32 19 but did he get another one yes he and aaron built another one, another one okay uh, it's in deuteronomy 10 from 1 to 3 Next question number 19, uh, listen carefully, Joshua sent two men to Jericho to search out all the country, so there was one lady helped them and hide them in her house, what's her name? Rahab. Very good, it's in Joshua 2, 1, after 19. Last Question number 20. Uh, ready? Mm -hmm. Last question? Yes. Number 20. There was a man who helped his people from their enemy, and he had great strings in his hair. Who is he? Samson. And how was his life ended? He hanged out with the Philistine woman who are the enemies of his people. What's her name? Uh, Delilah. Okay. And 
and then the Philistines told her to, t to ask Samson what was his secret of his strength, and then she begged and begged, and he finally told her if his hair was cut, he would lose all his strength. And so she cutted his hair, and and then she, while he was sleeping, she said, Samson, Samson, the Philistines are here to catch you. And when he stand up, he, he was so weak, he fell on the ground and they hold him. And, and the ministers poked out his eyes and he became a slave to work in there. And then what happened? And then they decided to hold him with chains up among the Philistines to celebrate. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of people were there and they were just cheering because they were happy that he was chained and they and he could not no more kill a lot of soldiers. And then he prayed to God to give him one more chance, his strength back, and his hair slowly, slowly grew again, <clears throat> and he hold the chains with the big, big building, and the buildings fell among the people, and him died. Oh, so unfortunate. It's in Judges 6, chapter 16, from number 1. So, honey, this is uh, for part one. Then we'll continue part two next time. But we will do this again. In our mother's language. What is that? Tigrinya. Okay, we will do this part one in Tigrinya next time, and then we'll continue part two. Mhm. Mm Make sure to subscribe.